In this module, you will learn about the number of diagonals in a polygon. But before that, what are diagonals? Let's look into it. A diagonal is a line segment that connects known edges and vertices in a polygon. I repeat, a line segment that connects known adjacent vertices in a polygon. Look out this polygon. The first one is a triangle. Is there any known adjacent vertex in this polygon? No. So, we will have zero diagonals. This we will prove with a formula. And the formula is n into n minus 3 upon 2 where n is the number of sides in a polygon now our polygon is a triangle and triangle has three sides so n will be 3 substitute value of n in the formula we will have 3 into 3 minus 3 upon 2 now 3 minus 3 is 0 so it will become 0 our next figure is a square now you can see in a square there are two line segments that connects known adjacent vertices so there are two diagonals now we will check this with the formula number of sides in a square of 4 so substitute n is equal to 4 4 into 4 minus 3 upon 2 it will become 4 by 2 so that will be equal to 2 so the number of diagonals in a square are 2 now the next figure is a rectangle. Number of sides in a rectangle is again 4. So substitute n is equal to 4. We get 4 by 2 again. That is equal to 2. So number of diagonals in a rectangle is also 2 as they were in the square. Now let's check for some other figures. In a pentagon, n is equal to 5. As there are 5 sides, substitute n is equal to 5. You can solve this in your notebooks. 5 into 5 minus 3 upon 2. That is equal to 5 into 2, 10 by 2. Or you can cancel 2 by 2. The answer is 5. So number of diagonals in a pentagon are 5. Hexagon. Number of sides is 6. So substitute n is equal to 6. 6 into 6 minus 3 upon 2. We get 6 into 3 upon 2. Cancel 6 and 2. You will get 3. So the answer is 9. Next is heptagon. A figure having 7 sides. Now n is equal to 7. So 7 into 7 minus 3 upon 2 will become 7 into 4 by 2. That is equal to 7 twos are 14. This is our answer. In an octagon, number of sides is 8. Put in the formula the value of n as 8. 8 into 8 minus 3 upon 2. That is equal to 4 into 5 which is equal to 20. So our answer is 20.